hump day. Today is Wednesday. It's after work in the evening. And uh, we tore another head apart. Well, I say we, I mean Ben. Uh, he's been up here taking valves out of this other 6-9 head. So he's got something he wants to talk about today. It's called valve miking. Valve spring miking. Valve spring miking. All right, so I'm going to let him talk about it and we'll see what happens. So in doing my research on building this engine, because I've never built one of these before, where this is all new experience, um, it was recommended that going with power stroke valve springs is an upgrade. I'm like, well, cool. Absolutely ready for an upgrade. So I bought power stroke valve springs. And in reading, I also read that if you shim them to 1.8 inches, that creates a better seat, especially if you're running a turbo and if you're running a camshaft for a turbo camshaft. And I'm like, well, I started looking at valve shims and they're cheap. Then I find out, well, in order to shim appropriately, you got to buy one of these tools and you can buy one of these for like 50 bucks. I'm like, okay, so I, if I'm going to do this, I want to do this right. So I bought the $50 tool. There it is right there. And I bought some chin, shims because, like I said, shims aren't that expensive, 20 bucks. And I go to looking for information on how to do this because I've never shimmed valve springs before. And I find a video on um, YouTube, and I think it was either Summit or one of them. It's got this real cute blonde, which, sorry, I can't compete with that. And uh, she is uh, showing how to put this on there, and you put your top on, and you thread it out, and it shows you how tall your area is. And I'm like, okay, that I understand, but how do I shim it? So... To explain how this works, put together, I actually have to thread that back down to where it's smaller in order to do this. Okay, now I've got that pulled out. Well. Thread this out here. Now it said to shim it to 1.8. And uh, that's your 0.8 right there. And as you can see, we're over that. So if I come back to 8, right there, now watch this. If you can hear that, the valve's really loose. So it needs a shim in there. And you can see that gapping right there. And I've got some 30,000 shims here, which was recommended to use. And it's just about the right size. So to prove my point on this, most of the guys was recommending that on the exhaust valves, you just put a 30,000 shim, and the intake valves don't need a shim. Now I've been checking all of them just to make sure, but so far what I've been re reading is right, but it's one of those things that Rather than just read a form and do what a few guys say, I'd rather check my work. So what we're going to do is we'll pull this base out of here. Well, maybe we will. It likes where it's at. There we go. We'll put our shim on. Put our base back in. Make sure that shim's in the right spot back here. Yep. Put our base back on. The valve spring mic back on. And actually, I took the valve out and really didn't have to. There's the valve. So now, pull this back out. I'm going to thread it back out to the 8 again. And there's eight. And look here. Now there's no play. If there is, there's very little. Very little play. Now the springs are a little taller than that, but it just compresses them down to this point. And that right there is what they, they recommended, shimming them to a 1.8 inch. So now I know my 30,000 shim is about right, so I'll take that back out. I'll put my valve spring on there. And now that that is shimmed appropriately for the upgrade that I'm doing. So that is how you work a valve micrometer right there. It don't, don't just stick it in there and read it out there so I can show you, yeah, hey, that's how tall it is. This is how you figure out your shim. You put your 30,000 shim in there, the 1.8, I got rid of a lot of play, we're good now. So 
Hopefully that helped you guys. It, I had to do a little bit of reading to make sure I was doing it right because never done it before. So yeah, that's a first for me. I've never seen that done. Uh, I wasn't here when he put the springs back in on the last one. I wasn't paying attention that close. So I thought it was information. That's pretty cool. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks and, for watching. Yep. If you have any comments, let us know. See ya.